feeling like 100 degrees out there. We are in the dog days of summer, but a Lanham family is still paying the price for a crash that happened when there was a foot of snow on the ground. They have been fighting to get paid for damage to their son's car after a Prince George's County snowplow went right into it. Seven on your side call for action had to step in and troubleshoot her horse Holmes has the story. It was the calm after a stormy night in March. March 21st, I'm out shoveling snow. Nearly a foot of snow had fallen in front of Sean Copeland's home in Lanham. Starting to clear out the area where we would snow, you know, remove snow from the street so we can get into our vehicles. Walked over to the back of the car, looked up and saw this. What in the world could have done this kind of damage? You know, clearly a snowball hit my car. The family heard a plow pass by early that morning, they say, but no one saw it. Saved your nickels and dimes? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I did. This is Miles Copeland's first car. He hadn't had it long and purchased the car to help carry him to school and work every day. The family called police, filed a report, and contacted Prince George's County, who put them in contact with the company it hired to plow the street. They basically denied everything, so. The Copelands received this from the insurance company representing LNG Construction, the plow contractor. It says, we do not believe our policyholders' vehicles struck your vehicle. This is snowplow pretty, damage. Pretty cut and dry to you. Yes. This letter from the county's insurance company to the Copelands acknowledges the family's car was damaged by a snowplow. But that insurance company also denied the claim, referring the Copelands to LNG Construction. Months passed. The snowplow company, Copeland says, refused to budge. The county also wouldn't help. Damage or not, Miles had to use his car and did until he was stopped by police. Because uh, the light in the back doesn't work and I don't have the money or want to have to pay for it because I didn't do it. Frustrated, the Copelands called Seven on Your Side call for action. Seven on Your Side is, again, taking, taking the forefront and getting this action taken care of. Seven on Your Side call for action volunteer got hold of Prince George's County and the county now is finally promising to fix the damage. What's the, the lesson you want your son to take away from, from this? Uh, always stand up for what's right. In Lanham, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.